everyone how are you doing we welcome you all to the hands on video of the build 14332 the latest windows 10 mobile build that microsoft has pushed to windows insider sin fastring as per microsoft's official change log there are no changes or noteworthy new features that this build brings with itself but while uh, playing with the build we could uh, be able to explore and find some new features and changes and obviously we would like to share them with you So in this particular video we will do exactly that we will only share the changes that we had uh, found ourselves so one of the important changes or like one of the ui changes that we would see here is in this windows insider program so now instead of a slider here you see a drop down menu and you can select from fast and slow so the ring selector for insider preview has changed a bit in the ui instead of a slider you have a drop down menu here and if you have followed our coverage you would know that uh, beyond the build 14327 you don't need to use the windows insider app and uh, this this uh, windows insider selector provided by microsoft does the work so this is one of the change apart from this there is one more ui change and that is there in the microsoft edge so let us open the edge and and this change is obviously very good uh, it's quite useful change basically so let's say you open a, a web page so earlier all the options uh, were here so they were like at the bottom and it was really i mean if you are uh, browsing a page you needed to go back and or go to the bottom and then choose the favorites reading list history and downloads now microsoft has moved it to top so you can see the favorites reading list history and downloads have moved to the top so perhaps it is for the easy accessibility so if you are uh, using uh, the microsoft edge on any of the web page you can just go to here to the top and choose four of these options so it, it's obviously a good change apart from this and very a very important change has come to cortana again microsoft i don't uh, i mean understand why they did not mention it but it's really a very useful change and uh, even from leaders we have the same kind of comments that they think that this change will be very useful for them while traveling so let's say if you go to cortana to settings you see this which says change your language cortana language cortana works best when the language you choose blah blah but you can actually choose different languages and let's say if you are in india and you have this english india set here you can still choose from united states united kingdom canada and australia so i have chosen united states and once you have changed your language it will give you this uh, prompt or this kind of warning saying that since your reason language don't match it is possible you would not get all the cortana goodies but if you are in india you yourself don't get all the goodies so music search for example was missing so when i chose united states i got the music search here so now you can see the music search so i mean uh, that can be an advantage and in case if you are not happy with the language change and you want to revert it's easy so if you have changed your language you will be shown an option of reverting to the default language so let's say i just tap on this and it will choose the default language it will revert back so this is how it works so these are the basically the unreported changes that we we found uh, and we reported apart from that if you go to like we have reported that if you go to the messaging the messaging has a shared the skype integration so there is no skype integration as such it's gone so you can see the skype video app has gone now so only way to do skype now is to use the old skype app because somehow or by i mean for some reason microsoft did not bring the skype uwp preview app that is there on the windows 10's latest redstone builds so that uwp preview app is not here not available for mobile so i mean it could have been appreciable if microsoft had removed the integration then they should have brought the uh, skype uwp app so apart from this there are no uh, noteworthy changes again 
so with this we come to end of this video and we just demoed the changes that we could observe and uh, we brought it to you so hope you have uh, liked watching this video stay tuned for the hands on first impressions of the build 1432 thanks for watching